Good, happy Thursday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, Hampton man arrested after pursuit on Route 101 West. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9. Well, just in, the Hampton man is now facing charges after allegedly leading state police on a chase. State police say it happened on Route 101 West this afternoon. Troopers tried to pull over 30-year-old Rob Haskell after reports that he was distraught and had possibly threatened to, her to harm himself. Troopers eventually stopped him with spike strips in Candia. Haskell is charged with disobeying a police officer. Okay, there you go on that video and that report. Twins kidnapped from mass found in Maine with mother, police say. Let's take a listen to the video from WCVB Boston. Girls kidnapped from Plymouth. Found safe hours away, and tonight their mother and her boyfriend are locked up. Those girls vanished from Plymouth. They were tracked down in Lewiston, Maine. And New Center Five's Julie Lunchick is live in Plymouth right now with the breaking details. Julie. Ed and Maria, just the best possible outcome here following a terrifying ordeal for this family. These nine-year-old twin girls, as you said, have just been recovered in Lewiston, Maine. Now, they were abducted allegedly by their mother and the mother's boyfriend. That's where they were found, with the mother who does not have custody and her boyfriend. Police say that 38-year-old boyfriend forcibly took the children as they exited a grocery store off of Route 44 here in Plymouth around 4 o'clock this afternoon. JTM and De Deja Valentine had just gotten off the bus. Police canvassed this area, searching in dumpsters and reviewing surveillance video at area businesses, but the children were ultimately found roughly three hours away before 10 o'clock this evening at a home in Lewiston, Maine. I just spoke with their relieved grandmother. It's just been a harrowing situation for us. We're just happy that they're back and they're safe, and uh, they're on their way back here. How terrified were you folks? I'm sorry. Absolutely. Absolutely. They said they're safe and sound and they're happy to be on their way home. Their grandmother tells me they have not seen their mother in some five years. The father has full custody here. The mother and the boyfriend have both been arrested, both been charged with kidnapping. Police right now are not releasing their names. The girls are en route from Lewiston, Maine. They could be home at any moment now. We're live in Plymouth. Julie Lonchek, WCVB News Center 5. Okay. And there you go on that report. What a safe and happy ending there. Man found guilty killing Maine family for others at campsite. Let's take a listen to the video from WMTW. Sorry about that, no video. So. A man from Texas is facing a death penalty after a jury found him guilty of killing a man from Framington, Framington his daughter, and four other members of their extended family at a remote campsite in 20. 15. The Eagle reports that a Bernard's County jury found 35-year-old William Hudson guilty Tuesday on three counts of capital murder for his role killing 77-year-old Carl Johnson, 40-year-old Hannah Johnson, and for other members of their extended family. Prosecutors say Johnson and their family were camping 
on property they'd recently bought from Hudson's family. They say Hudson resented the sale and killed the six after playing them alcohol. Cindy Johnson, Carl's wife, was the sole survivor. The two retired from the University of Maine at Farmington in 1999. Hudson's attorney didn't call witness but expressed the importance of serving on a jury. The jury hearing punishment testimony Wednesday. Hudson faces life in prison with no chance for parole or death by lengthy injection. And there you go on that report. GOP Senate announces hearing to probe Trump's authority to use nuclear weapons. After months of questioning President Donald Trump's temperament and fitness for office, Senator Bob Corker, Republican of Tennessee, announced Wednesday that he would convene a hearing to examine the president's authority to use nuclear weapons. Trump, I didn't blame China for U.S.-China trade imbalances. President Donald Trump has long dis decried the trade imbalances between the United States and China, even going so far as presidential candidate to say it amounted to economic. But as he complained about those inquiries on China's surf turf on Thursday, the president offered a surprising qualifier. I don't blame China. And that is it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you back here later on today. Goodbye, everyone.